Hello and welcome to my vlog on flexibility and range of movement rehabilitation for a patella dislocation. Heel slides should be used in the early stage of rehabilitation. This is because heel slides allow for an increased range of motion at the knee, this being especially important while in rehabilitation from a patella dislocation. Doing this exercise will also help with reducing any risk of re-injury. Heel slides will also help with stretching the tissue in and around the leg and knee muscles. Now, in order to complete this exercise, you will want to lie, lie on your back with your legs straight as possible. Bend the affected knee by sliding your heel towards your glutes. Hold this position for five seconds, then straighten your affected knee by sliding your heel to its original position. Once completed, Rest for 5 to 10 seconds and then repeat the exercise. Try to perform this exercise on a smooth surface so that your heel slides as easily as possible. Now, as this is a fairly simple exercise to carry out, there aren't many common movement errors an individual might do. However, it is important to make sure your heel slides as close to your glutes as you can. Only bend your knee to a point where it is comfortable, especially because it's in the early stage of rehabilitation. And don't panic when you feel slight pressure or sensation around the knee. This is normal. However, it shouldn't be painful. Moving on to the hamstring stretch. This should be used in the mid stage of rehabilitation for a patella dislocation. The purpose of this exercise is to increase the range of movement and flexibility at the knee joint. Our client takes part in frequent running and walking, suggesting that her hamstring is used often in everyday activities. Therefore, it is important to build the hamstring flexibility and range of movement back up to what it was before her injury, or she could face hamstring injuries when returning to these activities. This is another fairly simple exercise to complete that doesn't involve any further equipment. Stand up straight and move your affected leg out in front of you. Bend your other leg and lean your body forward. When you start to feel your affected leg's hamstring stretch, this feeling will be at the back of the leg. Hold the position for 5 seconds. Rest for a further 10 seconds and repeat the exercise. As this is a relatively simple exercise, you might not think there are many common movement errors that people make. However, some individuals will find themselves bouncing while performing this stretch. It is important not to do this as this is known as ballistic stretching. And this form of stretching can cause your muscles to stretch too far and too fast, resulting in a possible hamstring injury. Additionally, due to our client only being in the mid-stage of her rehabilitation, her hamstring has not been stimulated to an increased muscle strain, increasing the chance of injury when done so. With this exercise, you want to make sure you are keeping your toes pointed upwards to allow the stretch to be as effective as possible. Moving on, the standing gastrocnemia stretch will also be used in the mid-stage of rehabilitation. Due to the gastrocnemius being attached to the back of the knee, stretching allows for activation at the knee, helping for the patella's rehabilitation. It's important to stretch the gastrocnemius along with the quadricep and hamstring to allow for the patella's rehabilitation to be as successful as possible. Now on to how to complete this. Stand with your feet a hip width apart, facing a wall. Place the right leg behind the other in a narrow stride. With both feet facing forward, and keeping your heels on the floor, bend your left knee and keep the back leg straight. While driving the back knee forward, sink your body down in order to stretch the muscle. Hold this for 5 seconds, take a 10 second break and repeat. It's especially important to keep your heels on the floor while performing this stretch, as individuals that don't won't stretch their gastrocnemius properly. Additionally, errors such as not pointing your toes forward will also allow for the gastrocnemius not to be stretched properly. Finally, the standing quadricep stretch. This will be needed in the later stages of rehabilitation. Increasing the flexibility and range of movement at the quadricep helps to keep a balance between that and the hamstring, which we worked on in the mid-stage of rehab. The quadricep also helps to keep the patella stable and in place, highlighting the importance of stretching the quadricep during rehabilitation of a patella dislocation. In order to complete this exercise, you want to stand up straight and bend your right foot towards the gluteus maximus, which is your bottom. Hold the leg in this position. Make sure that the knee is fully bent. One way you can make sure of this is to have the quadricep parallel with the rest of the body. You will feel the quadricep stretching when in this position. Hold for 5 seconds, rest for a further 10 seconds and repeat. If you feel your balance going when performing this stretch, 
make sure to find an object to help keep you stable. As mentioned throughout, there are some common movement errors individuals may do when performing this exercise. Similarly to the hamstring stretch, individuals may find themselves bouncing when performing this stretch, and as previously mentioned, you should try and make sure you don't do this, as it could lead to further injury. Making sure your knees are touching and your stretching quadricep is parallel with the rest of your body is two other factors that will allow to successfully complete the stretch that some individuals don't do. Finally, try not to lock your standing knee when performing this exercise. Thank you very much for watching and listening, and I hope this helps.